my experience working with women and specifically young women I do recognize there's a lot that we still need to do when it comes to just combating gender-based violence and I want to speak specifically about sexual violence Kazu Sisterhood is launching a campaign against day rape which is a form of rape that has been tolerated for a very long time and the women are coming together to just say we have had enough we need to get, get to a place where if a girl or a young woman has been raped they can freely speak out and if it's a, a case of date rape it should be taken seriously okay so date rape is mainly where somebody who is uh, in a relationship is uh, faces sexual violence from their intimate partner uh, be it their boyfriend or somebody who's just trying to to ask you out and in most instances um, girls are made to believe that if it's your boyfriend who is raping you then it's okay and uh, in many instances you realize that when it happens um, girls don't talk that they don't speak out they, they get home and it's business as usual. They don't even, the system, is, I mean, our, our communities, our families are not supportive enough that when a girl has been violated in that manner, a girl will confidently uh, share experience with the parents early enough for her to receive the support that she needs. So in most instances, they fall pregnant. And what parents see is the pregnancy. And in our culture, in our Shona culture, is more specifically, if a girl is, becomes pregnant, they're forced to elope and be with whoever made them pregnant. And in most instances, it's the boyfriend, the rapist. So you have this woman who has been subjected to rape, being pushed now to go and live for the rest of their life with this man who would have forced them into the sexual act. And um, over time, parents, families, Communities who embrace the Musukuru. I think this 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 issue is not just about about the girl child or young women. I think we need to get to a place where parents can speak freely to their girls, to their children about sex, you know, because the culture of silence that surrounds sex and sexuality matters in the home. No one talks to girls about sex. It happens to them. And they are, in most instances, they are never prepared. And so that silence, it, it's, it's, it makes it very uh, difficult for girls to open up when they are confronted with, you know, scenarios where they are raped. A girl cannot just wake up and talk about sexual matters when in their lifetime their mother has never opened up about such matters. But also, you know, the way we perceive the, the, the woman's body, her sexuality, this business of you have, you know, and you'll find even in our courts, you the girl will be asked, and all those things are huh? meant to to water down the case and what we've seen is that rape that is perpetrated against girls who are from their teens going up those cases most of the cases do not really uh they, 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 they don't get a favorable ju judgment if you are if you are a teenager going up rape against uh, children girls is taken more seriously as opposed to when a girl is a teenager and and that speaks to societal perception around uh, girls and, and their sexuality and what happens to their body and the fact that the belief that girls actually invite trouble and if they are raped it's their fault it's their fault and it's something that we need to speak about
Thank you.